Today, I'm back with Cafe Chaos. This is a paid preview copy that I was sent from the publisher, and I made a video on the game itself, so you can go check that out if you want. But now, I wanna look at and open up the three booster packs and see what's inside. Let's get to it. Here's the packs. We got junk food. We got the animator pack, which I think will be the coolest. And we got the Sue Boy pack. So let's uh, bust them open, see what's inside. I think we'll save animator for last. Start with some junk food. Ooh, got that good bread smell. All right, we got butterscotch cream pie. We got the birthday cake. We got the camp girl cookies. Those are delicious. Carne asada fries, also delicious, my goodness. Cherry slushy, that reminds me of childhood. Couch cushion candy, also a little childhood. Chocolate pretzels, that's a delicious tr treat. Dino nuggets, you know, if you eat dino nuggets with Eggos, and you put a little syrup on top, mm, that's some good chicken and waffles. I do that for breakfast every once in a while. Uh, we got the double scoop ice cream. We've got grape jelly donuts. The lunar pie, pork rinds, delicious. Ooh, we get a special action, the sugar rush, very cool. We've got the ice cream man, power scoop, with a special action. So, ice cream man has, reveal any number of cards your target may claim these for plus one, you heal. Wow, that's interesting. You do damage to them and you get healed. This seems great especially the bigger the, the player count is because they'll likely take some hits and you'll heal a bunch. That seems awesome. Sugar Rush, draw up to five cards. If you draw a blank or action, discard everything. Ooh, so it's kind of a push your luck mechanic. Anything that says draw cards in most games typically is exceptionally powerful. So this might be one worth getting. We got a bonus action here of Yeet. Add one topping to any other attack with food. This topping may come from the floor. Ooh, that's super powerful. The toppings seem to be a little less prevalent in the game, so this could be pretty important to get some extra hits in. We got Belch. Target player takes one damage or discard one. Blue card and all other players get one damage. Wow, that seems like a great AOE area of effect attack, getting a bunch of people once. Very cool. So that was the junk food pack. Got some really cool character cards in there. Let's take a look at Saubwe. We've got hot wings. You know I had some the other day. They are delicious. Got a hot dog, reminds me of Costco. Got the Kung Pao chicken, delicious. Jumbo gumbo. You know if you eat seafood and you got a little like nicks on your fingers that kind of burns a little bit we get the jalapeno poppers that's always great at bar places kale smoothie not my style we got the lime yogurt we've got this one unlabeled so far this is a prototype copy so now everything's complete we got the mystery meat <laughs> that's another childhood memory right there pad thai oh i love some good thai food got the raw egg Pulled pork sandwich. We got a local place in San Luis Obispo where I am. Amazing pulled pork. The Subway James. The, the eat action. We got the employee of the month. Snitch. So let's take a look at theirs. Snitch says, on your turn, plus one damage to all players showing grab or any attack with food actions. Oh, this would be a great way to use your last action and turn just do a bunch of damage to everyone really quickly. That seems awesome. You got a bonus of a catch. No damage from food, gain all, oh wow. Not only do you dodge things, you take their stuff. That seems great. And then we got a bonus, cheat. Duplicate your last action, cannot be the first action. Very cool. So you can throw twice, you can dodge twice. Very cool. Looks like we don't have the employee of the month card in here, so I'm sure that'll be a great one. One, oh no, we did have that one. We don't have the Subway James, we have two of these. So, again, prototype copy, but that's looking like a really powerful pack as well. 
to be able to take an opponent's cards while dodging, that's an important action. Oh, love it. This is the animator pack. So we got Rebecca. We've got Jaden Nari. And you can see a lot of these on the campaign already. Alan Becker. Love his videos. Man, the amazing Maz. Rushlight Invader. Get Mads. Wolfie Chew. Domix. Love his videos. Super funny. Something else, YouTube. All right, I guess that's YouTube. <laughs> so for this special, we got Airy Attack. It says, attack without food for one damage to any target. Reveal a card from deck. If not a food, this attack fails, but keep the card. Otherwise, this card. Like I was saying, anytime you can draw cards, it's a great thing. And you're doing damage no matter what. Very cool. We got the misshape, mishap, <laughs> mishap. Draw and reveal a card from deck. Wow. So you get at least one, one, two damage, but you take one or no effect. So this is a nice way to just always deal damage, essentially, because these white cards are pretty rare in there. So essentially, you can do two attacks. You do a throw and you do this. That's a lot of damage. We have Counter Strike. When attacked with cards, you may show and discard a matching card in the attack to deal two. My goodness, so you're throwing it back at them. This is a great one if the person attacking you already has a lot of points. Control Alt Delete. You may discard any number of cards from your hand and draw the same number from the deck plus one. This is called filtering. It's a great way to get the cards you want that you're looking for. You've got Hallucinate. Choose any two players to swap hands, except basic actions and special actions. Very interesting. So you can really mess some people up. If, a, if a player has a good combo, you can get that out of their hands. Very cool. And you create an ally if you're swapping with someone who's well behind. We get magic trick. Gain plus one at random from both target and deck. Give your target and any card from your hand back. So you're getting potentially great cards and you're giving them stuff you don't care about. Another good draw card card. Vengeance, change your target, optional, and attack with food. If target is pointed at you, add one. Ooh, very cool. So that's a good way to get back at someone. Any of these attack again cards seem pretty important to get extra damage, unexpectedly too. We have blast, attack with food. Throw any number of single cards. Each subsequent throw must be to an adjacent target. Very cool. This is a way to attack more than just the person you are targeting. I really like the variety that these booster packs are adding to the, the base game. We have Bewitch. Your next attack with food this round has a condition of Bewitched plus two damage. You are immune to conditions for the round. So if you're the target of a bunch of stuff, this might be a good one. So those are the booster packs. There's some good stuff in there. Some really great new special actions that you can do. Some of them might be a little overpowered, but it's fun to have that in the mix. And some really great art and new fun food cards in there as well. So if you want to check out the campaign, there's a link in the description below. We're also doing a giveaway for another Odd Ones Out game. So if you want to enter the giveaway, potentially get a, a free board game, go check out the link for that as well. Thanks.